Howdy, everyone, and Merry Christmas. It's a beautiful winter day here in Minnesota. Yeah, I definitely didn't pre-record this one midsummer. <laughs> you don't believe me? Well, let me ask you this. If it wasn't the holiday season, why would I be out here with Santa the scum frog or Frosty the scum frog? Hmm? I do know that all I want for Christmas is some top water action. So we're gonna see if we can make it happen with these holiday scum frogs. I think I'll start out with Santa. We'll open him up, get him tied on, and we'll see what we can catch out here today. Yeah, that thing's pretty cool looking. <laughs> I can get a kick out of these weird lures like these. So these holiday scum frogs, they were a Walmart exclusive for the 2022 Christmas season. So if you want to pick some up, I don't know, eBay might be about your only option. I can find them at my local store, so that's where I had to go to grab myself a couple. And honestly, I've never fished one of these scum frogs. Looks like it should work really well. It's a hollow body frog. It's got the two little kind of paddle tail style legs. So I've fished this lake a couple of times. Most of the bass I find out here are right up along the edge of the cattails and whatnot. Oh wow, he's got some really good action to him. Makes a nice little gurgling sound that makes me think that scum frog would work pretty well for just covering some open water too. I just saw a splash out there. So we'll start out with Santa here, see if we can catch a few and then maybe we'll try out Frosty. I'm just gonna start working my way Along the shoreline here, there's lots of little bluegill swimming around in here. Anybody home back here in this corner? Looks kind of fishy. I think I need to get him over here into those weeds. Here comes Santa Frog, here comes Santa Frog. Still looking for the first bite of the day on Santa Frog here. <laughs> Not much action up shallow yet. Had a couple little bluegill nibbles, but that's been about it. But I have worked my way back here to the back corner. I've got a little culvert that runs underneath the road there. We'll see if there's a big old bass. Hiding out in front of that. Oh, I heard something over there. What the heck was that? Something like a bird or something up in the cattails over there. All right, should we toss them up there by the pipe? There's one up there. Nice. We got one on the Santa scum frog. That's not a bad fish to start off the day with. Little bass on Santa Claus. Nice. Well, Merry Christmas, Mr. Bass. Nice 
kind of cool. I saw the little wake coming towards Santa there. Gave him a little pause and had a nice little bass come up and smash him. Oh, he got himself a free tongue piercing there. Yeah, I might have to get the pliers out for that one. There we go. Second one of the day on the Santa scum frog. Just a little guy, but it's some top water action. Well, I'm kind of hoping I'll find something in this back corner of this little bay. I fished out here a couple times last year and both times I found a decent bass hanging out right over here somewhere. So we'll see if there's one over there today. Well, there's one. Not a real big one, it's a little guy, but... You know what, if you ask me, any topwater bass is way more exciting than fishing through a hole in the ice. <sighs> so I will take a little frog bass. Happily, I'll add. Hoping to find something a little bit bigger than that out here today. Yeah, maybe that big one will be home over here along this little stretch of bank. Oh, the two times that I fished this lake last year, I really only fished this end of the lake too. It's just a little bit more fishy looking over here, but the far end of the lake, about a mile down that way, looks pretty good too. I've never tried that end of the lake, so maybe once I finish up fishing this bay here, we'll paddle down there to the other end and toss the frosty frog around. here today. Oh, there was one. Dang it. Oh, and he just bit the leg off my Santa frog here. I don't know, maybe that was a pike. Well, that's kind of a bummer, because I've only got the one Santa frog. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how he does with one leg. Yeah, he still kicks around a little bit. Well, I'll finish fish in this bay with the one-legged Santa. We'll see if we can catch one more fish on him. Oh, that was a nice one right there, you guys. Dang it, I missed him. Oh, he got my other leg off Santa too. Probably that same fish. That one was definitely a bass. That was not a pike. Well, I was going to try to finish off <laughs> fishing this little bay with Santa, but he's missing both his legs now. I might have to just switch over to Frosty here. Yeah. I think it's time to make the change. I've got Frosty tied on. We'll see if we can catch a few on him. I'm gonna toss it right back up there where that one just bit the leg off my Santa. We'll see if he'll come out and give Frosty a little nibble. go. Got my hooks in that one.
Come here, you. Nice little bass on Frosty the scum frog. Oh yeah, I got him good with that hook. He definitely wasn't coming undone there. Nice. Only took a few casts with Frosty to get my hooks in one. Maybe that's just what these bass wanted was Frosty instead of Santa. Get him all fixed up. All right, we'll see if we can catch another. All right, we're getting a couple now. Oh, that's a nicer fish too. Get in my net. There we go. There's a decent one. Starting to find some over here now. I hit this other side, it's a little bit deeper along the edge and that seems to be what's holding the fish. There's a nice one on Frosty the Scum Frog. Sweet. Well, I think I'm gonna give it a couple more casts up toward this point here. And then I think I'm gonna take a gamble and spend 20, 30 minutes paddling to the other side of the lake. It's about a mile paddle. Never fished that other side of this lake, but I was looking at it on Google Maps and it does look pretty fishy over there. This looks kind of fishy up here. We got some rock along the shore. It's just something different. Sometimes that's all it takes is something a little different than the rest of the lake. That's a decent fish right there. No, don't you jump. No jumping. Get in my net. Just like I was saying, something a little different than the rest of the lake where we've got cattails pretty much everywhere. And look at that, we found a nice bass hanging out along the rocks up here. Probably the biggest one of the day on Frosty the Scum Frog. Yeah, it's a nice fish. So he's ready to go. See you later, bud. Merry Christmas. gave up on that cast. I thought I saw something chasing it. Decent little guy right there. Yeah, they seem to be liking the frosty scum frog. <laughs> Could be I just wasn't fishing Santa on the right part of the lake too. I don't know, you never know. Here comes one. Little guy on Frosty. Let me just do a Quick release with that one because I got some fishy looking stuff right here in front of me. I want to get that frog back in the water. In case there's a big one over there. So I did make my way over here to the far end of the lake looks real fishy in here but I spent about an hour tossing that frog around and haven't found anything back here so I guess that gamble didn't pay off the 
The good news is I did find one really nice fish as I was working my way down here, just tossing Frosty at a couple random spots. So I think what I'm gonna do is start working my way back toward my vehicle. There's about a mile between here and where my truck is parked. So we'll just fish that frog around some shoreline and see if we can find another bass or two willing to go thump. Definitely one looking. Oh, that was a pike. I don't want the pike anyway. Hey, there's one. Just a little guy, but... Oh, he shook it, that's all right. <laughs> I don't mind it when those little guys do that. Well, I like to see that though. It's been about an hour since I've had any action. Maybe those fish just want to be a little bit closer to the deeper water out here. Starting to run low on daylight. But I'm hoping to finish the day off with at least one more decent fish. Come here, you. All right, we found one. Just working my way back toward where I started from today. We'll see if we can find any more. I don't know, this frog might only have one fish left in him. His legs are getting pretty chewed up there. Had to glue them back together a little bit. Good as new. There we go. That's a good fish, you guys. That's the one I was looking for. Jeez, look at that bass. Came up and absolutely slammed frosty <laughs> yeah it's probably the biggest one of the day I was hoping we'd find at least one more nice one to finish the day off on all right you guys i think that's going to do it for today's trip the sun is set it's about that time for me to paddle back over to the launch and get all my gear loaded up. It's been a lot of fun out here today though. We got on some exciting topwater action with those holiday scum frogs. Yeah, we got a couple on Frosty and a couple fish on Santa the scum frog. I'd say Frosty definitely stole the show today. He got all three of the bigger ones that we found out here on this trip. So yeah, it was a fun way to spend the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.